Hey guys, welcome back. Took eight hours for render the second shot. I put them both together. There's no compositing done on top of that. So it's straight out of Redshift and Houdini. And I'm really happy with the results. And we accomplished all that with just a few tricks. Was I hope uh, you didn't get overwhelmed by, by the techniques that we used. Uh, and I hope most of all that you learn new tools that you can now express yourself in different ways using these techniques. It's not about learning an island and the notion and this environment itself. I hope that these techniques can help you achieve other environments, other things. And, and I think it's a great way of starting to, to learn your skills with environment is to do something more photorealistic because once you, you, you dominate these techniques to, to, re, to reproduce something that happens in real nature, then you're going to be able to feel free to create other worlds, other environments, more stylistic environments, more like, um, I don't know, more fantasy-like environments because you know the tools to do the realistic one like to re reproduce something that exists in nature and i think that's the goal of this course and i i hope that you really enjoy this journey that we did together and from this stage what i'm going to do with the other courses i'm going to take this island i'm going to do other cool stuff in this i'm going to bring characters i'm going to make simulations procedural modeling of houses uh, flip simulations i'm going to, to keep doing other things and and if you want to take this journey longer and learn new tools you are more than welcome to follow the other courses that uh, I'm going to release soon. Uh, if environment is your area, so I hope in future I'm going to release other environment courses specifically. So let's take a look in the final renders. So let's, yeah, that's the start one. I really like uh, this revealing shot and then it just brings to the second one and this one really showcases our work we can see the textures we can see the blocks we can see the beaches the scattering really amazing we didn't hide anything in big flares we have this very subtle flare going to the water and there is no like this very golden light that makes everything kind of dark and shady we really uh, it takes you some courage to show your work like that and, and of course keep in mind that you can bring this this uh, environment to another level if you start doing um, compositing if you if you have more time to just uh, do that we did in a few hours so if you put days in, of work on this shot you can definitely put this in a feature movie and so uh, that's uh, that's what we we got and i'm really happy I hope you enjoyed this and I see you in the next one. Thank you.